Hey guys, today's video is going to be a little different than uh, our usual visual. Than my usual visual. <laughs> my visual, my normal visual. We're going to be a little different than my normal visual. Mm. Today's video is going to be a little different than my usual videos as I've been uploading. I know yesterday I got done with uh, the story about how my mirrors got broken. Today we're going to, I guess, delve a little bit into my mindset and kind of what's going through my head. I made a video like this a little while ago, but I didn't upload it and I'm still debating whether I want to upload it or not. And I've so far I've been putting it on the back burner and just not uploading it because I guess really self-conscious and anxious and that video is full of that. I address all the things that I feel like I have a problem with. Basically all my insecurities I address that in that video which it kind of feels strange and I don't want to really put myself out there like that because it makes me feel uncomfortable you know. Who wants to listen to somebody ramble? Um, so today I'm going to be addressing, I guess, kind of my fears, what I think about whenever I make these YouTube videos. There's like three main things, and then I'll kind of explain what's going on in my head and, you know, maybe what I might do about it. Uh, right now, it seems I'm just going to try and persevere through it and just make these videos regardless. Uh, one of the big fears is making a mistake, which usually everybody, we all fear making a mistake because it could be embarrassing or it could cause undesired results. Anytime I make these videos, I worry that somebody might make fun of me for something, but I guess that's all part of it. You know, I see a bunch of people always address, oh, there's all these haters and screw them. We're not worried about them. We'll make it. So I guess I kind of have to adopt that mentality and, you know, work my way through things. As I got out here at a setup, I was just overthinking everything. I kept just thinking, oh, what if this, I don't know how I want to start this video. I don't know where I want to go with it. But now that I'm actually making the video, the ideas are rolling out. Everything's coming out. I'm able to talk. However, when I do get to the editing part of this video where I go through and edit it before I upload it, because it's going to need a lot of it. Oh boy, she was edited all right. <laughs> it's gonna need a lot of attention a lot of love to get kind of the points I want to get across because I just sit here and Think about random shit. So when I get to the editing point, I'll sit there and overthink it again. Just kind of strange things that every now and then I think of. I'm sure there are other people out there that feel that way as well. You know, doing certain things. It, it can be embarrassing. You don't know how to do something. So when you go to test it, you feel like you're not doing something right. And that's kind of how it is with these videos. So whenever I have an idea for a video, I usually don't execute on it because I feel like I'm going to make a mistake or I'm going to say something that makes me look stupid. I have to have have a set plan to make a video like how I went through and uh, replaced the mirrors that video I decided I wanted to try and make the first time I, I didn't follow through it I didn't have enough content I wasn't gonna upload that because it was half so I have another opportunity I follow through with it and now I have a decent video hopefully that gives me enough encouragement to be able to make these videos that's another thing is I get discouraged really easily a lot of things can kind of put me off I mean all it takes is just one thought and I kind of have to pull myself out of that and just roll with it and just make these videos so one of the big things that I'm worried about is if it is possible if I work hard enough if I'm able to take the time and dedication and somehow manage to make it somewhere I'd love to be able to talk to a bunch of people about just random stuff you know anything everything <laughs> just kind of feel comfortable have a group of people that understand what's going on I fear if I get to that point something will go wrong or maybe YouTube will start its decline you know, it's going to start dropping off somehow, you know, like with the COPPA situation that was recent, it's still kind of blown over and you know how everything's going with that. It's not fully done with. I'm still not quite sure what to expect with all that. That created a big change. And that's kind of the thing I'm worried about is if I am able to make it somewhere and it all just gets wiped away, you know, what am I going to be left with? How am I going to move forward from that moment? I hear some stories like It's Just a Six, he made a second channel and I actually watched his second video on there and that's kind of what inspired me to be able to make this video. When he talked about how he wasn't getting anywhere, he lost something, that's kind of a, a fear that sits within me is I don't know if I want to go through the restlessness, you know, fight through all of that to actually make it somewhere. but. 
if I want to achieve and get where I want to be, I have to put myself out there. I have to go through all that. The second big thing that I'm worried about is if I do a massive following, if people enjoy, genuinely enjoy the content I put out and I realize that and I see all this, you know, oh cool, this is great. You know, I'm getting somewhere. I'm actually going to do something with this channel. I fear I might lose touch. Maybe it might go to my head. Hey, I can go do this now and I'm going to record this video and it doesn't do so well. Kind of receives a bad feedback. Now, understandably, that's how you learn not to do certain things. This is, you know, kind of the direction you need to go. But there's this really big thing that I really enjoy that I want to really do and make videos of, but people just don't see it the same way I do. You know, they're like, eh, that's kind of cool. I'm glad you're enjoying it, but this really doesn't interest me, so I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to watch it. It hits a chord inside because I want people around me that enjoy the things that I enjoy so we can enjoy the moment. We can share, you know, our stories, our ideas with each other. Lastly, the big thing that I'm worried about, which I really shouldn't be because for right now, there's really one thing to do, and that is to try. The biggest thing I fear is investing all my time in something that gets me nowhere. I'm making these videos. To me, they seem good. What am I not understanding that isn't clicking with everybody else? Where do I go from here? How do I change that? All this just kind of seems strange to me because I can be a sociable person. I can be nice and I can walk up to somebody randomly like, hey, start a conversation. But at the same time, there's still the, the aspect of me. I'll freeze and be like, what do I do? And that's a big thing that's going on right now. Just talking with you guys, I'm freezing up. There's a lot of gaps and you're going to see a lot of editing in this video because my brain kind of freezes and like, okay, what do we say next? What? I don't know if that's centered or not. Whoops. People came home from school. So what point do you want to make? I keep rambling. I need to, <laughs> I need to get my points across. Uh, I'm just looking for things to say to make myself feel comfortable talking about all this. That's a really big thing that I need to address and that I need to change is I need to be able to become comfortable speaking to the camera, speaking to you guys, because I feel it's better to be genuine and to be yourself. Anyway, I kept rambling. I just wanted to address what's going on through my head and have this as, you know, kind of a self-reflection. Maybe look at this video a few years down the road, be like, oh, what was I thinking? Or, oh, hey, you know, this is what I feared, but I've made it this far, but there's no way to know without trying. And that's a big thing for me is I'm lazy. I don't want to try. <laughs> I don't want to try because I'm afraid of what will happen, the results that it may bring. I guess to end this video off, the big things are I need to change my perspective. I need to be able to accept that I've made a mistake and look at it and see where I went wrong and what I can do to change that. So. Appreciate you guys for watching. Hopefully this video isn't too bad. I know it's going to be edited to hell. This is just what I'm feeling. I hope you guys understand, and I'll see you in the next video.